Well, good day to you. If you're watching this video today, it's probably because you've been seeing a lot of spam traffic in your Google Analytics reports and you want to resolve it. So we're going to quickly review what the problem is, um, how to identify ways to fix it, and then how to implement those fixes. So let's get started with looking at what the problem is. In Google Analytics, um, where you see this um, is when you go down under acquisition to your referrals report. And a lot of times what you end up seeing are sort of these random websites that say things like $100SEO.com, eventtracking.com, freesocialbuttons.com, bestseooffer.com. And as you scroll down this list, aside from all the Googles and social networks and other things, um, you sort of see these mixed in. So what we want to do is make them all disappear. Um, and the, the way that these work basically is they're able to fire your pixel remotely and they do this so that you basically come and visit their website and either buy something, get malware, stuff like that. So um, what we want to do is find similarities between them all so that we can create filters to fix this problem. So I'm going to take out my notepad quickly and first we're going to identify um, we have the source column here. Let's look at some similarities between all of the sources. First off, we see a lot of these free social buttons, and a lot of times uh, these spammy domains will have the word free in them. So if, what we want to say is if the source contains free, we probably want to hide that traffic from our reports. The other thing is uh, a lot of this is a, an SEO place. You're going to see stuff like best SEO offer, um, free traffic, stuff like that. So um, I'm also going to add SEO to my list. Um, and uh, I'm also going to add social, actually I'll just add uh, buttons. To that. So um, this particular part of the filter is very specific to your website. For the most part, you're going to see a lot of these same domains, um, but based on your traffic and the type of site you have, you may legitimately get a lot of traffic from referrals with the word SEO in them or free in them. So just bear in mind when you're looking at your traffic, you know, don't go blocking all the frees if you do legitimately get traffic. Um, this particular site I'm working with should never see traffic from, uh, you know, from uh, sources that contain these keywords. Um, some other similarities that we want to look for, um, if we add a secondary dimension here, uh, what we want to look at is the host name of a lot of these. And this is a big one. This is going to sort of be a catch-all. Um, host name is basically something that, um, you know, the Google Analytics code is supposed to tell Google Analytics, like, where is this code firing, basically? And what you're going to see with a lot of these spammy sites is that the host name is not set. Now it's not always the case because you're going to see stuff like best SEO offer that actually is is showing the correct host name. Um, but in general, when the host name is not set, um, we know that it's spammy traffic. So we're going to go ahead and say, well, we want to filter out also all the host names when they're not set. Um, just so you know, I'm working with besttattooideas.org, and that's that's why you see that host name in here. In theory, and with a perfect you know analytics without spam, um, you're only going to see you know your website here if you have subdomains or something. Uh, with the with uh, the code as well, you'll see those. Um, one last thing we look at is language. Um, we we notice that it's pretty common for these spammy sites to have one thing in common with the language that's set. And we'll just go ahead and pull that dimension in this report. And the language often on a lot of these spammy sites is also not set. Um, again, it's not the case all the time. It's just a case of a lot of the time. So. What we hope to do with these three different filters, source, hostname, and language, is get 99% of the traffic filtered out of there. Um, we're never going to get it all. Over time, we can add new sources as we see different uh, sort of patterns show up. Um, but the, the way we're going to set this up uh, using segments is going to allow us to sort of modify this over time and just show accurate you know, traffic trends over time based on this. So how do we do it? We have two choices. Um, we can add a segment, and we're going to have a segment that is going to implement the filters that we just described. Or we could actually create another view in Google Analytics and set this filter at that view level so that as traffic comes in, Google doesn't even record the traffic. Now, we would recommend setting it up just as a segment for a couple of reasons. One, when you create a new view, you lose all your history. Um, you have to set up your goals again. There, there's a lot that you lose by creating that new view. View. If we create a segment, we can actually segment all of the traffic and go back in time and still look at our reports and say, okay, let's apply this filter and see what traffic really has been overall. Because a lot of times what this spam traffic is doing is, is obviously inflating the traffic you have to your site and it's not real traffic. 
Um, it's going to lower your conversion rates. It's going to increase your bounce rates. It's going to lower the page views for visits. So it causes all sorts of problems because there's sort of all this spammy traffic that just firing your pixel wants just to get noticed. Um, so, so what we want to do with this segment is, is uh, basically filter it out so that we can see what the numbers are um, you know, in the real world. So if you haven't done segments before, this will be a crash course. But basically what a segment is, is you say, I want to see a certain view on my traffic. Um, uh, based on some filters I set. So we're going to create a new segment first. And we're going to call this uh, segment filter spam. And really, this is a segment that going forward, we're always going to look at. We're never going to look at this all sessions again because it, it, it's not actually accurate it, it, when we're looking at the big picture. Um, when you look at certain types of reports, they're going to be fairly accurate because they're going to ignore that fake referral traffic. But generally speaking, all sessions isn't accurate because there's so much spam today. Um, and we're just going to go down to advanced here under this filter, and we're going to set the conditions that we just described. So that first one, if you remember, was, uh, was the source. And for source, what we're going to do is say, we want to see all traffic where the source does not match a few conditions. And one is that the source does not have the word free in it. Two is that the source does not have the word SEO in it. And three is that the source does not have the word buttons in it. So that's going to basically eliminate any source um, that contains any of these keywords. But we're also going to add to this uh, that host name condition that we discussed. And that's where the host name does not contain. So we're looking for uh, does not contain, and that is going to be not set. And our last condition, if you remember, was language. Language, same thing, does not contain, not set. So let's review what this filter says quickly. We want, this filter is saying, only show me the traffic where these conditions apply. The source does not contain these keywords. And we use a, a function here called does not match regex. And, and really what this basically means is it allows us to put sort of multiple conditions in one um, field um, separated by a pipe. So if we had a, another keyword, we'd basically just add another pipe and put that keyword here. Um, just kind of a quick way to do it. We also want to filter all traffic where the host name does not contain not set and where the language does not contain not set. Um, so we're going to save our filter. And now what we're going to look at, um, we know that we have our filter applied, filter spam, that's the segment we have up here. Now we're going to look at the sources of our referral. So I'm looking at that same referral report that we looked at before. And what you're going to notice um, is that the sessions are way down. Um, you're going to see things, uh, you're going to see basically most of the spammy sites removed. You see a lot of Googles here. You see some Facebook, some Pinterest. This is what a referral report should look like. Um, the reason I see so many Googles here is basically this is an image-based site. So there's lots of image search traffic. Um, and that's kind of how that comes across. Uh, so if we look at a comparison real quick, and on this second um, segment, so we're going to pull two segments at once just to kind of show you how this affects other numbers, um, is that if we filter all of the spam, we see 217 sessions. But if we left the spam in there, we'd see 330. Um, when we look at stuff like bounce rate, um, I mentioned how this, these spammy sites can increase your bounce rate. Our bounce rate is about 4 or 5% higher. Um, this particular site actually has kind of a high bounce rate anyways. Um, pages per session, when we take out the spam, again, goes up. Um, the, uh, you know, so, th so these are things that we, we would commonly see. So it's not just that we want to filter spam to not show those sites. It's that we want to filter spam to basically get all of our stats back in alignment. Um, so some things you want to be careful of are that you don't apply filters. Again, these are the ones that we had chosen where the source was free, SEO or buttons. Don't, you got to be careful not to apply filters that block real traffic, you know, and, you know, one of the, one of the good ways to basically just double check this is to take this filter spam um, segment. We can copy it real quick and we can just call this one show spam. And this is basically should only show spam. So we're just going to kind of reverse everything and say, let's show stuff that matches this or oh, I'm going to just kind of uh, remove a couple of these. So we want to see sources that match this, match any of those. We want to see host names, which 
as opposed to don't contain, we're kind of creating the opposite filter here because we want to make sure that whatever we're filtering out is not legit. So the language is not set. So I've got, I've got basically the opposite filter created here. And what we're going to do once we apply this, I'm just going to remove these other segments quickly. And we're wrapping up in just a second here. This is a long video. Um, so show spam. So what we should see here is only spam. So when we look at our referral report, um, we see basically a bunch of really spammy looking websites. And this is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Something else we, we might want to double check is looking at like a channels report, for example. And this is just to make sure that we're not blocking traffic that you know is legit. Um, we've got a bunch of direct traffic here as well. Um, when we go to source and medium, uh, we just want to double check that we don't see um, things like uh, or you know, basically organic search or anything like that, um, et cetera. So that's basically that's basically what we're trying to do with this. So um, at the end of the day, what we've what we've basically done is said, okay, we found our similarities. Was the first step. What is the similarities between all the spammy traffic? And we decided that you know, if the source is any of any of these keywords, or the host name is not set, or the language is not set, we're pretty sure that it's spam. And that's sort of the purpose of this filter uh, is to sort of clean all that up. Hope this helps. Uh, comment below with questions um, or other suggestions to improve upon it. Thanks for your time.